Hi, my name is Dan Tortaglia, and today we're going to look at creating a waypoint mission with Litchi. Litchi is a, a tool that's been around for a while, and it doesn't work with every drone and every controller, so you definitely want to make sure yours works with this tool if you decide to try it. But in this example, we're going to use Litchi in the field on a new construction project, create waypoints on the fly. It'll be a similar process as using the waypoints that come with the Fly app, but the big benefit is that all the waypoints are stored in the cloud. You can access it from the web page or the drone controller itself. Now, there is a list of compatible drones right here. When you get a chance, please go through the website and see if it's something you want to you want to try. Let's get started with um, this example. As I shown before, Litch uses certain drones and drone tablets and controllers. So before you purchase it, please make sure you do your research. The software itself only costs $25, and it's a one-time fee, which is great. I'm going to launch Litchi from my tablet, and it's going to load up Google Maps for my current location. And there's not a building shown yet, but on the east side of that retention pond, there's a building on the construction we're going to look at. That black square means that I'm not connected to the drone, so there's no image being shown yet. Next, we're going to look at some of the settings. So under the settings, I usually choose Imperial. And I also like to have my grid lines and my diagonals. So I'm going to choose that and enable those on the screen, like I do on all my drones. The most important settings here are on your controller under keys. So C1 and C2. C2 is waypoint at aircraft. And that means that whenever you click your C2 button, it's going to create a waypoint. And I used reset a gimbal for C1 here. I'll launch the drone using the Litchi app. It's a very windy and cold day and cloudy, by the way. So if you have a small drone, you may not want to do it in these kind of conditions. You can see the building there that's under construction as well. There's the Litchi app right here, and I'm taking off. I'll go about 70 feet high. And because it's so cloudy out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the exposure settings so that the exposure settings are um, set to shutter priority, and I'll just set, set it so it's bright enough so, so the screen is easy to see. The, the actual building. So I'll go to the first waypoint where I want the first waypoint to be. I'll change my gimbal on, and I'll change my angle to where I want it to be exactly, like the Fly app. And then when I hit the C2 button, my, my controller, it'll create the first waypoint. That's waypoint one and 69 feet high. It's going to orbit around to the front of the building. And I will make a C point, uh, sorry, a, a second waypoint using my C2 button again. And we make one more one more waypoint on the other side. I find a good spot and I'll click on that third waypoint, I'll point a little bit closer. And then click C2. So I have three waypoints right now. There's a couple of things I want to set up next. So I'll go back into settings. And 
I'm on waypoint one right now, so I'm going to set waypoint one to do a couple of things. If I click on the little plus symbol, I can choose to rotate the gimbal. Now I'll make it the same rotation as the waypoint was, just to be safe. And then I'll start the start actually recording the video. So I'll create two two there. Then I'm going to waypoint two with the arrow, and I want to make this to be a, a true arc. So I'm going to change my curve size to be as high as it could be. So now it's a true arc. After that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to save the mission as some name. I could have used a better name, but this is a, a fast and dirty video that I created, so there are some. It's not going to be very polished. So I landed, and now I'm going to run the mission. So now it's running the Litchi mission. And from this point, you're going to see what's coming from the drone rather than from the controller. So again, it's a very cloudy, windy day. So these are the three waypoints that are that made up this little video. And Litchi is very stable as far as repeating the same pattern every time. The fly apps waypoints, I don't trust as well. Then we we'll bring it for then it's gonna come down for a landing after the waypoints are finished. And that's pretty much it. Again, one big advantage of using Litchi is that everything's stored on the cloud. So really, your missions can be accessed anywhere from any computer as long as you log into Litchi. They can be modified here or, or your tablet. You can go to your settings and change anything that's in here. Also, the heading, the height, anything for each waypoint as well. I can just hit the arrow back here, go to each one one at a time and see what it's doing and change it if I want to. So it's a really Nice ability to have. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye.